Five years after aging out of foster care at 18, Shamari Mabeki still relies on support from a Toronto charity that helps young people through that transition. You don't really get all the skills that coming, like growing up with an actual family and being like interacting with a like your family, your loving family would give you. Now the Ontario government has extended its moratorium on youth aging out of care. It began a year ago. It's now to last until September 2022. CBC News has learned the province will use that time to design the new system, doing away with the current age cutoff and working to ensure youth feel ready to be on their own. We're building a model that is going to support young people through the milestones in their age. Just under 12,000 young people are in Ontario's child welfare system. Some are eligible for financial assistance until age 21 and other supports until 24. But still, about half of young people who experience homelessness in the province were involved in that system. More than half drop out of high school, even more rely on social assistance. This is fundamentally about bettering the lives of the most vulnerable young people in the province. Cheyenne Ratnam was formerly in care and is working with the ministry to help develop the new model. She wants to ensure youth are supported to make their own decisions so people like Abdullahi Diakabi can feel confident on their own. He was petrified to turn 18. I was thinking like how I'm going to be able like, to do my grocery, how to cook like how to go to school, like, and how to pay my rent. Heather O'Keefe runs the charity that helps Mubeki and Diakabi. They need to have people that care about them and guide them through life choices. They deserve what other young people deserve. Advocates hope the new system here will serve as a blueprint for the rest of the country. Angelina King, CBC News, Toronto.